Hi, my name is Arielle Fox. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about how to get a different picture from different angles and with um, proper lighting. Today I'm inside so the lighting is a little difficult because you have natural light coming from the windows and if you have a, a light above there's all different sources of light. Um, first off I'm going to show you um, without the flash um, which shouldn't be too bad because there is the natural light coming in. <clears throat> so I'm taking a picture of a person which isn't too bad with the lighting and now I'm going to turn on the flash. And you can see I'm going to show you. The one with the flash, since I have all this natural light coming in, is a little bit too much. So it becomes fuzzy and too bright, so I'm going to delete that and leave the one from the natural light. So I'm going to leave it without the flash because we have the natural light coming in. Next step is getting the perfect angle. You can see from the shot that I took from up above, that the picture isn't too bad. And if you're up close, trying to look down the picture once again, it looks okay. But the problem with taking pictures at an uh, upright angle going downwards, you're not getting the best angle. So I'm going to tell you, when you're taking pictures of people, if they're tall, you want to stand up tall. Maybe you get it on a tripod to get it a little higher. If your participant or your things are down low, you have to get down low. So I'm going to get down low while she's drawing and take a picture. Of course, no flash because we have natural light coming in. Okay, and I'm going to turn the flash on just to show you um, the difference. <clears throat> with this one, it's not too bad with a flash, but you can see if I were to zoom up that most of the time natural light is going to help you get the clearest shot because you don't need the extra light because it is adding too much to the intake of the camera and therefore when you're taking a picture uh, with natural lighting most of the time you won't need to use your flash and if you do you need to test it and maybe take one with the flash and one without and compare prior to your session or your just taking a picture of your child so that you do have a good shot to make a photo out of. I hope you learned something about angles and lighting today and thank you for your time.